What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Everything Muscle. Muscle gang in the building, man. Y'all, in my honest opinion, in these type of cars, I'm gonna have to go to I'm gonna have to go to brand new route. Like I got mine brand new 2020 wide body nine miles on a dash when I got it, man. I'm gonna have to go to I'm gonna have to go to brand new route. And the reason why I'm gonna say the brand new route, because people say, oh, you get a brand new, you're gonna lose value. Which is true. You might lose about a couple thousand. It ain't like you about to lose ten to fifteen thousand off the value, but if you take care of your car and don't drive it into the dirt and keep miles off of it in a couple of years, it's, it's going to hold its value. Cause like before I made this video, I uh, typed in like just use scat packs and it was ranging from between like 35 to f like 35 to 40 to even I seen something for like damn near 50,000 used though. You know what I'm saying? And the only problem I'm going to say about used cars is, you just don't know what you're getting yourself into. They be like, oh, well, you can pull up the history. But you honestly really don't know how that previous owner was, like, driving the car. You know what I'm saying? You don't know if he was dogging it every day, taking it to the track. It's kind of like a gamble. You know what I'm saying? And only how I'm going to use road, if I'm getting a dog, that, that warranty got to be crazy. The warranty on that car got to be crazy. Like, the warranty on my car I got now, I got my warranty for seven years for like almost 80,000 miles. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's just like used cars. You just don't know what you're getting, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like a gamble because I done seen a couple YouTubers that got like used scat packs and they didn't drove it for a month and they already got transmission problems and all type of other stuff going on. So, that's just problems I don't want to deal with. Because these cars, they like I said before, they, they they expensive, man. So, And another thing is, I was thinking about if I'm going to put a down payment, of, of drop a big down payment on the car, I'm not dropping no big down payment on something that's used that somebody already had. That's just me, though. You know what I'm saying? Everybody different, but that's just how I get down. Like, If I'm about to drop a bag, I'm dropping a bag on something. I'm dropping a bag on something that's new myself into i know i'm the only owner of the vehicle you know what i'm saying and i got a dog warranty on it you know what i'm saying so because you're gonna need that warranty with these kind with these type of cars because if you coming out of pocket paying for all man nah you miss me with that you know what i'm saying so i mean but another thing is so on a used tip only i say another reason why i probably if i was thought about getting a used car if i was gonna flip it so I get a used car and if I was going to try to get, just ha hold it down for a couple months and then go try to go get a Hellcat or something like that. But I say, if you're not trying to trade your, if you, if you're looking to, if you're looking to get a scat pack and you're not, you, you, and you're not going to sell it, you're just going to keep it for the long haul. I say, get a brand new one. You know what I'm saying? But if you own some, I'm about to get it, keep it for a couple months and then try to flip it and get a Hellcat or whatever the case may be. Then I say, go to use route. But see me, only how I'm selling this car if somebody offer me something crazy that I can't that I can't say no to. You know what I'm saying? If the bag right, I'll let it go. But other than that, this car I'm keeping it for the long haul. I'm probably never I'll probably never sell this car. So that's why I went the brand new route. And I had to drop a kind of a bag, the down payment. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not I'm not dropping no down payment on no crazy down payment on some use. That's just me. But everybody different. You know what I'm saying? But I just, I don't know. I, I just been looking on the internet and like I seen a, a used scat pack 2017 with like almost 70, 70,000 miles. And it was asking 40,000 for it though. You know what I'm saying? So these type of cars, they going to hold their value. As long as you don't dog it, get into accidents and just be going crazy in it, they'll hold their value over time. You just got to keep it up. You know what I'm saying? But, but I'm going with the, I'm going with the use. Like it, they, they, they too expensive, man. Cause if you're going to pay damn near 40, 50 for a use, a use one, you might as well go get a brand new one for that price. 
Cause I, I got, like I said, I got mine for 40, I find that's mine for like 43 and some change, brand new. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, I'm more of a like, that's just with anything as far as like just making big expensive purchases. I'm I'm rather going the brand new route than getting something that somebody already had already. That's just how I get down. You know what I'm saying? Everybody different, everybody's situation different. You know what I'm saying? But if me, if I'm looking to get into a scat pack or a Hellcat or whatever, especially a Hellcat, there's no way in hell I'm buying a, a used Hellcat, bro. I don't care how many miles on it. I need, that's definitely getting brand new. You know what I'm saying? That's, it just, it's just too expensive to get something that's used already that somebody already then then drove. Like I said, you don't know how they've been driving it. You don't know if it's been garage kept. You don't know if they've been going to the track every weekend or you know what i'm saying you just this you just never know how they've been treating the car and then i done seen some youtubers they didn't got they done bought used cars it had been modded already and no warranty and I, i'm just not gonna put myself in that situation i'm not put especially in these type of cars and i see how people be driving them it's no way i'm getting this car with no warranty it's no way you setting yourself up for failure at that point unless you got the bag where you can just Every time something break, you coming out straight cash and paying for it, then that's more power to you. But I'm not, I just can't put myself in that situation. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to, I'm going to brand new route. You know what I'm saying? If that's just me. So I just say like, man, just make sure like if you just shopping for a scat pack, Hellcat or whatever the case be, just make sure you do your research first, man, before you get to pulling the trigger and just make sure you like, just make sure that that's something that you want to do. I say go. To, I just say go to the brand new route if you can. Whatever you are like, if you can afford it, I say go to the brand new route. Yes, you're gonna you're gonna lose a couple thousand off of it, but if you keep it up and don't drive it to the ground and keep miles off of it, it's gonna hold its value. These cars hold their value. I don't care what nobody say. So you can look it up for yourself. They hold their value. You know what I'm saying? So. If you're going to make an uh, investment, especially in these cars, man, I'll say go to brand new route because at least you know what you're getting yourself into. You're going, you getting a used car, you're going in blind. You really don't know what you're getting yourself into. You might, you might pay less, but then in the long run, you might have more problems with the car as far as like this stuff going wrong and breaking down and all that crazy stuff. And if you get a used car, make sure you get a warranty. Make sure you get the best warranty you can. But... I just wanted to come on here and top it up, man. Um, you know me, man. The message of the day, though, you know, I always have my messages. My, um, I always have my videos on the on a positive note. Make sure you keep a good circle around you, man. I'm gonna say it again. Make sure you keep a good circle around you. That's gonna help you motivate you to do better you know what i'm saying that's gonna be a good spotter you know what i'm saying like when you be in the gym you got that 225 up there you got the spotter you feel more confident when you got somebody up under you knowing that they got you if you need help do that extra push because everybody need that extra push in life man you know what i'm saying so just make sure you keep good people around you Stay away from the negative, that negative energy, them negative people, man. Because that, that type of energy, it rub off on you. If you surround yourself by people that ain't really doing nothing with their life, you know what I'm saying? That, it rubs off on you. You be, you, you, you start picking up their bad habits and all that, all that crazy stuff, man. So make sure you just keep good, positive people around you that's going to be there in your corner, that's going to support you and motivate you for whatever you got going on in your life. You know what I'm saying? So... But it's your boy, Everything Muscle, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for the love and support, man. And I'm out. I've been moving through time. See, yeah, the KY, they said that I couldn't, they lied. They lied. I my soldiers in line. Go crazy for mine. I don't got to think about it twice. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't got to think about it twice.
Dang Muscle. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel, man. And I'm out.